postcard today is from one of the most famous places for China, outside China. We're in Coalport, in the county of Shropshire. Where did Coalport come from? I mean, I know we're in Coalport, but I mean, how was it founded? Where did it all begin? Well, it actually began just a little bit up the River Severn from here at Carfley. Um, and the gentleman who formed this factory in 1796 served his apprenticeship there, came down the River Severn and formed these works. So it could have been Carfley rather it than Coalport? It could have Coalport. been Carfley. No, I mean, that's um, an antecedent to this factory. Right. But Coalport, was there actually a port here then called Coalport or was it actually founded on the basis that he came and set up his work and we've got a load of coal there for we instance. We have indeed. Is that how he got its name? It is. The, there was nothing here when uh, John Rose arrived and we have a lovely um, report by uh, William Reynolds who, who came here and Telford came here and they said nothing uh, existed until uh, William Reynolds came and set up Coalport brought the canal, brought the housing, uh, lots of industry to this area. And then the name uh, was attached to it. So it's now become Coalport. Just, just run us through all of these buildings that we can see here, which is obviously part of the original works, presumably. Absolutely. We're now standing in um, what was the heart of the Coalport factory. Uh, they obviously have different uses today, but originally uh, we have the Saga Makers to my left, uh, where the boxes were made in which the uh, items are fired. We've got uh, an archaeology room, we've got a, a pottery here uh, where people are throwing and uh, producing pots. Uh, and obviously we have the two um, imposing bottle kilns. And uh, what about that building in front of the big kiln there? Well the ground floor of that was uh, a handle placing room um, so that was devoted entirely to the putting on of handles onto cups presumably, mainly cups. Uh, they also had some decorating taking place on the top floor. So We've got the River Severn there, we've got a little cut along here. Was that part of the cooling down process, so that little piece of water there? No, that's the canal where oh. coal was brought in and wares were sent down uh, the canal to be transported into the river or to be transferred to the river. Well, we're by this little cut now, Ruth, the canal, as you were telling us about, yes. which brought the coal and stuff in. What are these buildings here behind? They have now been converted to, uh, on the left-hand side, a youth hostel and the museum entrance on the right-hand side. What were they originally? That was the first uh, set of buildings to appear on the site because there were, in fact, two brothers working here in the uh, early years of the factory's uh, existence and they, as I say, were the earliest buildings on the site. And how many people are actually here working at its heyday? At its heyday, just under 500. Right. Uh, we know from the, the census. Uh, in 1851 there were nearly 500. And what was the peculiarity about Coalport China that made it such a hit? Partly the diversity of what was produced. Uh, Coalport throughout its history has produced some absolutely wonderful pieces. Uh, not really until the 1840s do you get pieces that are distinctly Coalport. They were famous for um, copying Sèvres, copying uh, the German factories, uh, but really the, the diversity of what was produced. Well, I had these little Coalport cottages, which I love, and I gather they don't make them anymore. No, they don't. They stopped making those about three years ago. So what's happened now, then? Is there any of the original Coalport there? I mean, are you holding something here that's the old stuff or new stuff? No, this, is, this was commissioned by the museum about five years ago, and it's based on an historic shape. It's actually based on a calfly shape, um, rather than a coal port, but from its um, use at Carfley in the 1780s, it then went into production at Coalport and uh, has subsequently been commissioned by the museum. So do they make any coal port now, apart from this particular commission you've made? Yes, certainly. I mean, coal port uh, still exists. It's part of the Wedgwood uh, group. Oh, famous China Famous indeed. Pottery. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> famous. And, and you've got on there the Iron Bridge. Yes. Uh, that was, um, as you know, uh, erected in 1779, uh, the world's first cast iron bridge. <laughs> 